Well, hey, air signs. How you guys doing today? Welcome in. This is your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus reading. <sighs> deep breath. Deep breath. I had to get grounded a couple of times this morning. It just felt like the, the winds were blowing. Even though it's a beautiful day outside, the winds of change are blowing. Just finished a, um, navigating your spiritual journey class. If you're interested in any of the classes I teach, they are below. Right now we're helping people the next round of um, building a spiritual business online. How to do that, how to take your spiritual gifts and bring them online. Um, please check that out if you like. Also, um, let's see what else is going on. Oh, there's going to be a big announcement over the weekend in the Empress Club. Everybody who's on the spiritual path, you're going to want to look for that. That's something that is a new offering for you, so you might be interested in it. Little announcement going on. Ta 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 ta. <sighs> All right, my darling. So let's see what's going on. Keep yourself grounded. Um, timelines are collapsing a little bit, okay? Not a little bit, a lot. Timelines are collapsing. The polarity is collapsing. The um, two sides of things, dark, light, right, wrong, okay? Or um, uh, this and that, right? The, the um, two sides kind of thing is going to be collapsing soon. And um, that's something to be grounded for because it will be uh difficult for those living uh solely in the 3d to really understand and come to a higher vibration so uh, we send them love and compassion love and compassion to all y'all to all you guys and to everybody right and to everybody all right let's see what's going on for you sun moon rising and venus gemini libra aquarius I know the energy is really strong. I'm feeling it today. All right, porcupine spirit, porcupine. Time for the beginner's mind. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh boy. This and that. Remember, I just said this and that are true. This is the duality that we're living in right now, where we have so such polarized society. This and that are true. And when you're in this um, mindset that only one is true and the other one must be false. If I'm right, that must make you wrong. Mm, that's not real. Okay. And also um, paying attention to things, only things that are um, in agreement a hundred percent means you're missing something. There's some stuff to be learned from everybody. Okay, and ha please have compassion for other people right now. Sing your own song. <laughs> this is really about, um, you know, my job, one of my missions is to help everybody raise vibration, come into a new understanding of the new earth and where we're going. This is going to require this beginner's mind, this sort of reset of... Um, how we look at, at the world and those in 3D, if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about with 3D and 5D, um, I highly recommend um, uh, some of the videos over on Souls on Fire. I've done some videos to help you understand that. But right now the timelines are collapsing in terms of, you know, are you, I, I'm really forgetting days. I'm really losing time and time is going by so fast that some days feel like, three hours, some days feel like nothing, some days feel like 28 hours, right? And <clears throat> there is this, there is this need to be coming from a beginner's mind. And what that means is um, being open, being open, open to new information, open to each other, open to compassion. Right, because when a lot of times when people are in duality, when there's this and that, right, when there's this and that is you and this is me, and then we're far apart, we don't see each other, we don't hear each other, we can't talk to each other. Um, what needs to happen is is a humanity, a lesson in humanity about um, you know we're all living on this planet together, we're all in this together, and how can we 
um, be together in a powerful vibration. Seven of Pentacles, not a fear vibration, a powerful vibration. Fear is the low vibration, um, is one of the low vibrations, and um, fear encompasses a lot of stuff. So we'll talk about that as we go on here. Five of Wands, Ten of Swords, Knight of Cups, Hermit, Knight of Swords, Two Knights, um, Justice, Balance. Four of Pentacles, yes, Five of Swords, Page of Wands, beginner's mind right here, right here, okay? So I see a lot of conflict here. I see Five of Wands and Five of Swords. That's what's going on right now. I see anger. I see some anger here in the middle. So if you're in conflict, I feel like you might have been um, waiting a long time. This, this, mm, this feels like, let's see, I see Virgo here. I only see Virgo here. That's interesting. You're, that tells me that there's either your person is a Virgo or they have Virgo energy. Um, they could also be in a hermit phase. Okay, a hermit phase of the spiritual journey is when you're um, seeking knowledge, constantly, uh, you know, looking around for knowledge, voraciously reading things. Um, and that knowledge can be can come out in a way that's sort of like a blast furnace to other people, okay? And I feel like um, the conflict hurts. Conflict hurts. Um, it's a, a situation where you're needing to come to one mind, and I think you will balance your... Oh, Libra, okay? Libra and Virgo. We'll look at that in the extended, Libra and Virgo. So there is someone here who wants to make an offer to you. Someone who's ready, okay, to make an offer to you. There might be a lot of conversation and there might be a lot of um, debate um, that could be hurtful, okay? It could be um, seen as manipulative, seen as holding back. So both of you feel like you're just trying to help the other person understand okay that's that's the feeling here is it comes from a genuine place all right but how it's looked at by the other person is one of you is holding back and one of you is being manipulative okay and that's not helpful um because what needs to happen is love and balance the balance of libra and i'm definitely feeling that um this is triggered by previous could be previous relationships, previous experience. It's like I'm hardened in my approach. I'm not willing to see anybody else's side. But I have a feeling here that one of you, maybe both of you, but one of you is seeking knowledge, seeking understanding, um, trying to work things out, work things out for themselves, trying to figure things out very much a cerebral activity and i'm feeling like the energy that's needed is love compassion inspiration more high vibration positive energy if there's low vibration between you meaning disagreements or manipulation or holding back withholding any kind of feelings um positive feelings especially there can be some um um, hurt. I feel like that's all. That's all over. That's going to be all over because some some argument that's had here really does make you see how devastatingly um, not helpful that is. Okay, um, let me clarify the ten of swords here. Nine of Wands, Death Energy, Balance. I like it. Justice. Hmm, okay. So this is kind of like a My Way or the Highway kind of thing. All right. The Emperor level. So it is a situation where you might both be holding on to belief systems, both holding on to um, your lessons in life, what you have learned, what you uh, stand for, really... Um, it's not productive 
it's not productive. I'm not saying you should stand down. I'm not saying that you should throw away what you believe in. What I'm saying here is that understand how to communicate about that. Okay, understand how to communicate. And that's a challenge um, because I feel like there's a, a clash here of like, I am right, you are wrong. And what that only results in is hurt. So this is a this and that are true um, experience where you're balancing Libra. Libra's been increasingly visible lately, okay? And the, the energy of seeking balance is what is needed right now. So that we, we are going through a transformation where you guys, you, you, and uh, in a relationship here, likely with a Virgo, um, I see Scorpio also and Aries, and then I see another Libra. So you could be kind of casting around for finding the sweet spot, finding the, the conversations that you can have, finding, you know, communicating out of love and compassion is really the answer here. Because it is about singing your own song, what you know to be true, what is right for you, what feels good for you, what feels high vibration for you. And when you're in higher vibrations, so these conversations must be in low vibration because they're about staking out a territory and they're about, um, this doesn't have to be with a, a romantic partner. This can also be with a family member or it can be with a friend or with a coworker or something like that. And I feel like one of you is vying for more information. Once more information is learning and learning and learning and it's like sharing and the other person's like, no, I don't want to hear that. Um, because I feel like it upends something that they have tried to resist letting go of. Okay, nine of wands and death energy. And that is going to happen for both of you. I feel like both of you are going to go through this balancing situation. You see how she's kind of balanced here in a little bit of a yoga pose there? Um, balancing with her new ideas. Balancing with her, um, her passionate, inspirational way of being okay trying to be balanced in that and not be upended by um low vibration so the goal here is because knight of cups is also very high vibration knight of swords is, is more more anger okay that's trying to be balanced hurt from the past is trying to be balanced all of these things and so i feel like the message here will ex will explore this in the extended for sure but i feel like the message here is um is about seeing another another person's um, perspective with compassion because you're seeing them not as a not as an adversary not as an attack on what you believe right it's like they're saying something and you're seeing it through the lens of oh I must be they're telling me I'm wrong okay what well, they're they're probably not doing that and you're probably not doing that either but that's how it's being viewed so that kind of situation needs to end what we're doing now is we're releasing um, this um, um, paradigm. The paradigm of if I'm right, that means you're wrong. Instead, we're moving into something that's more balanced, which is more high vibration. So when you're talking with this person or when you're communicating or when you're um, in relationship with this person, what needs to happen is new inspiration needs to be brought into the uh, communication, new, new thinking, right? New, uh, um, open heart, open chakra, open heart chakra, uh, kind of way of talking with each other. So I started out this morning with this in my head of like, what am I blocking? And I think what's being blocked here is the idea that other people have something to contribute based on their own high vibration. If they're coming from high vibration, that's a contribution. If they're coming from fear, that's something else again. And so what you're striving for here is a balance in your communication so that no one feels like the other's holding back or feels manipulated in any way. This is very much a um, sort of a master's course on how to move out of low vibration. How can you do that? How can you raise your vibration? 
How can you sit in compassion? And really what that's about is removing intent, removing a belief that the other person has ill intent and also is seeking to make you wrong, which is an ego structure. So the, not a super romantic reading, but it, it does lead to higher vibration, which is love, which is compassion. Compassion is the highest form of love. Um, and this is a block that needs to get over. You need for you to get over so um, love can flourish. So what is happening here is you're seeing that um, spirit is saying to you, hey, before we go talking about love and romance, which we will, um, this is something that needs to be addressed first, is how you're communicating, how you're taking in information from other people, okay? So you can move into higher vibration, all right? So I'm going to keep going. If you want to keep going with me, the link is below, um, and um, I will see you over there, okay?